Hello and welcome to what is fairly likely to be the last episode of Rainforest Retreat. And uh, the reason for that is, Dion has uh, released the first update for Wasteland Mod. He says he's, he's just got a few last little kinks to work out. So uh, hopefully we'll get the Let's Play of that started within a week or so. And I uh, should be starting Unreal World sometime within the next week as well. So uh, things are going well, hopefully. Leave the miners to do their work down there. Now then. Let's see if we can at least go out with a bang here and... I'm not really sure how we would do that. I want to end this fort where I haven't ended a fort before. So, you know, something interesting. Not like starvation or... You know, riots. Although a riot was an interesting way to go. Maybe we'll just uh, end this fortress at the end of this episode and call it an untold story. No, not that button. Oh. What the hell have I done? Aha. Uh -huh. What I had done was... Uh... Okay, why won't that work? Maybe I need downstairs first. Okay, sorry about that. Had uh, another interruption. And obviously, stupidly as I was, I was trying to build an upstairs instead of carve it into the rock. Let's go this way this time, eh? And why not? We'll have some downward stairways. Because I'm a boss and I do things like that. Something strange happened. My headphones fixed themselves, and now I can actually hear what's going on. Been meaning to buy new ones for quite a while. Let's have a look at some of these stories on here, shall we? Engraved on the wall is a finely designed image of Pozak, what was that? Clashed, cast well, that clashed caskets, the human, and Gorgol, Shady Died, the carnivorous crypt of knights, the moon hag by Carl Tekel. Okay, why is everything in this game unpronounceable? The artwork relates to the human Pozak clash caskets confrontation of the moon hag, uh, the carnivorous crypt of knights. Well, we don't know how that ended, but uh, there's artwork relating to it, like a boss. Let's have a look at this one. Engraved on the wall is a finely designed image of the Iden the Fenced Books. The deity of crafts, caravans, and mountains, depicted as a male through troglodyte and two dwarves by Lobam. Is that? Yeah, I'm not saying that last name. The two dwarves are praying, Iden the fence books is contemplating. Well, I doubt we'll even get these nobles set up with a room now. There doesn't seem much point seeing his wastelands out now. Although it's, it's uh, not ready for a let's play, Dion still has a few things left to add in. I think he said something about uh, workshop sprites, just finishing off the last few of them, so it shouldn't be long. And uh, my upload rate has been down quite a bit recently, and uh, that is just because... Well, you can only do so much of one thing, and I really didn't want to be putting out like half an hour to an hour of Dwarf Fortress every day. Just because uh, people really can't keep up with that, or at least most people can't. And uh, I know, obviously, I'm not the only person people are subscribed to, so... But uh, that should go back up once I'm, once I'm done here. Because obviously I'll have the uh, the Wasteland Fortress to do, and hopefully Unreal World. And I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls lately as well, on the Xbox. I've uh, seen that on Twitch. Got me back into the game. Merchants will be leaving soon, I'm pretty sure we've already traded, so that's fine. Let's see if we do we have any more beds. We do. 
so uh, hopefully everyone will at least have a place to sleep before we leave this place. Okay, then let's uh, designate some more. Was it J for upstairs? No, you for upstairs, J for downstairs. I was uh, hoping to at least find some metal down here at some point. I might just do like a really long episode here. I just sit and play for a couple hours solid. I might not, I haven't decided yet. And uh, I've been practicing my IL2 as well. So hopefully I'll start a let's play of that at some point. Although it probably won't be for a little while because I'm going to be honest I'm still quite bad at the game. And what I would want to do is a hardcore playthrough. So I'll wait until I'm at least good enough to make it interesting. It doesn't look like we're going to find much metal down here yet. There must be something else we were in. I'm sure there was something else which I was in the middle of doing and I've completely forgot what it was. Maybe walling that off? I honestly don't remember. Oh well. Ah, oh, that's right, I wanted to check this. Because if you remember, we emptied this lake out last time. It was down to like four. One was it was two, so they actually drank this place dry. What's uh, what's the rating over here? Sevens. I wonder, should we? Uh... Yeah, why not? I don't see what harm it can do. What's the closest point between these? Here to here, probably. Ten spaces. But it will uh, link up three of those things, and eventually I'll turn that into a, uh, a rather big lake. I'm not sure what those are walking along, but they look like wolves or something. What are they? Silver gibbon, a small ape, very fat and enormous overall. Well, let's hope those guys don't want to, uh, you know, eat us. Because that would be bad. It says the, they eat fruit, so... Hopefully they don't want to eat us. And there goes most of the uh, channeling. What the hell is that thing? A cougar. Well, uh, okay. Squad, A, kill. Where the hell did the cougar go? There he is. Kill the cougar. Because that thing will be eyeing up my dwarves. There they all go. Recruits and what looks like a few others. Hopefully they aren't planning on just wrestling the damn thing. I'm not sure who that is at the front, but he's away. Come on. Catch it. Was it Arthur reports? The cougar is fighting. Let's go up to the top here. Okay, the cougar attacks the recruit, but he jumps away. The recruit attacks the cougar, it jumps away. The recruit strikes the cougar in the front paw with his man mango wood buckler, bruising the bone. The recruit strikes the cougar again in the left paw, bruising the muscle, and again in the rear leg. And, uh, in the right rear leg, sorry, and again. The right rear paw, all this with his buckler, so he mustn't have a weapon. And there's some more back and forth here. Mostly this guy with his uh, mango wood buckler. Cougar bites the recruit in the lower body, bruising the muscle, bruising the stomach through the uh, thing, and the cougar latches on. And uh, another recruit charges the cougar and knocks it over, and they tangle together and tumble forward. 
And this guy again with his mango wood buckler, he just doesn't give a crap that he doesn't have a weapon. He's going at us. Ah, this one stabs it with his uh, candle nut spear, we got that from the elves. Let's see, the mace dwarf punches the cougar in the right front leg with her left hand, bruising the fat. And then mace dwarf grabs the cougar by the left ear from the side with her left hand. The crit stabs the cougar in the right rear leg from behind with another candle nut spear, denting the skin and bruising the fat. Awesome. Mace Dwarf punches the cougar in the head from the side with her left hand, bruising the muscle and jamming the skull through the brain. Well. That's the end of the cougar. It died. So that's a uh, squad. All cancel. What is it? All for cancel? There we go. They literally punched a cougar in the head and killed it. That is some hardcore military. Although most of them still look like masons and crap because obviously they do their other jobs on their time off. And we started to have a kind of cat explosion by the looks of things. Oh well, I can live with that. Now then. I think I'll pause it here while I do some of the more mundane stuff. I'll bring you back when I'm doing something interesting. Okay then, some uh, migrants just arrived. Not really going to say no to them. Not that I really want them around either. But since they're here... And let's uh, connect to Dwarf Waters. We have 95 dwarves in this place. Exeteris to like go through all the details of how I can uh, limit population and all that jazz, and uh, I still messed it up. Honestly, I, I actually wonder how I managed to get these videos up in one piece most of the time. Anyone who's been with me for a while will know that uh, it doesn't always work out that way. What the hell is that? Galena. Sounds fun. Sounds like an African woman, but never mind. At least I think it sounds African. Got the engravers doing all this, that'll take them a while. Hopefully it'll just stop them from complaining too much. Um, I can't even tell what's going on down with the food and such. There's uh, too much going on. Place some more tables down, I think. There we go, that'll give some of the other people something to do, rather than just standing around being useless. Plus, obviously, uh, it stops things getting as cluttered that way. Okay, let's stockpile furniture. This way I can actually keep an eye on what we've got. Looks like we have quite a bit of furniture, actually. Right then, I was still looking for metal, wasn't I? Some kind of uh, metal ore. Ah, that's an ore, not an African woman. Galena, well, what is that used for? 
I wonder if I can get some kind of uh, description of it. Because I, I don't think I've found that before. Ore of silver and lead. Well, I don't think we can use lead as a weapon. But I'm pretty sure silver can be made into war hammers. So let's uh, start digging this out. Silver war hammers sounds fun. I'm pretty sure silver's only good for blunt weapons. I don't think it's any good for stuff like swords. So we'll we'll, uh, we'll see what we can make out of that. Now then, where was the uh, the furnace? Mason, farmer, wood furnace. I need the smelter. Do we have a smelter? We actually don't, which means I'm going to need some more workshops. I was not expecting to run out of workshops this quickly. It would be typical that I, uh, I get attached to this for fort right at the end. But with silver we can make a lot of useful stuff. see just how much we've got down there, because I know it said it's only 50% silver, which I suppose means two pieces of ore for one block of silver, but we have had the wood furnace going on charcoal for quite a while now. And there's more of it below us as well for when this vein runs out. Wait, why is... Okay. Looks like a lot of the miners are on break or something. There's a new baby. Quick, oh, someone had a baby. Here. Congrats. Can we eat it? Austin Power style. Get in my belly. There we go. Let's build. Where's the furnaces? I need a smelter. And then I'm going to need a uh, forge. Furnaces, smelter. Now then, I've had that guy making charcoal for ages. So uh, there should be, excuse me, plenty of that to go around. And build workshops forge. Oh yeah, I've got steel anvils. I don't think anvils makes a difference to uh, how an item comes out though. You know, like a better anvil makes a better sword. I'm not sure if it works like that. I don't think it does. Now, do we have anyone who can do metalsmithing? Let's see, where is metalsmithing? Ha. Huh. Yeah, we have a few. You here, you can do them all. Uh, you don't need to be a furnace operator. But he will be doing all the uh, the forge crafting and stuff like that. Oh, wait. I want him being the furnace operator. I'll have him doing them as well because I'll need one for the smelter. Okay, we don't need you doing that. There we go. Now then, let's add a new task. Whoa, no. Add a new task. Smoke Galena ore. Repeat. There we go, lovely. I might put out just like quite a few of these episodes over the next couple of days and then people can just watch it when they want because I'm quite enjoying this fortress at the moment I think it's the first one where we've had a uh, what I think is a decent metal and the best thing is we can make trinkets and stuff out of the lead if it gives us lead
which means I will probably need another forge, one for the metal craft and one for weapons, so I'll take metal craft and off that guy who had it before. You can forget metal crafting. You there, you can have metal crafting. That way we have a uh, metal craft dwarf and a armorer slash, you know, everything else kind of metally guy. I don't know, I don't think I can have two versions of dwarf fortress on my computer at the same time, but if I can, I'll probably keep this fort running as well. Something I'd probably have to ask Exeterius about, he knows this stuff. I don't. Or at least not very well. Now then, let's see if we can make any weapons out of the silver before I get too excited. Silver. Yep, silver mace, spear, short sword, warhammer, battle axe, and bolts. Now then, can we make anything out of lead? No, we can't. Not for weapons. So once that guy's had a chance to uh, smelt some of that silver down, we'll get some some weapons. Probably a mixture of spears and maces. Didn't look like I could... Uh, what armor can I make out of silver? Armor. None. We can't make any armor out of silver. Okay, so it's just weapons. And uh, lead we can make furniture out of that'll be useful. Stuff like uh, chains and other useful components. Workshop area is uh, rather busy right now. We have one extra space, I'm not sure what we'll use that for. I'm sure something will come up that we can uh, put in there. I've struck red zircon, I've, I'm assuming that's another gem. Yep. Okay. So. Let's chase down all of these bits of silver before we go down to the next level. I don't particularly want to be leaving any of this stuff behind. As soon as I can make weapons out of it. Hopefully I find something I can make armor out of. If not, I can just, uh, you know, buy it and buy the blocks to make it. Looks like this vein that we've hit takes quite a, a strange pattern. Actually, no, it's not really that strange. It goes up through here. So it, uh, so far, it's came up round. Maybe that's two veins, or no, that vein stops there, doesn't it? So that's the either start or end of a vein, whichever way you want to look at it, which goes down there and up that way. And this is a vein going that way. It looks like there's quite a few of them just kind of linked into each other, unless it. Uh, curls around up there somewhere and back up there and down there it's quite possible I'm not sure one might just be the offshoot of the other but either way we have metal the one thing that always gives me the most trouble is finding something to build weapons and armor out of we've got weapons taken care of at the least Which means we won't have to be using those uh, crappy elven fungi wood spears or whatever, what have you that we're using at the moment. Well, I'm, I'm still sure that uh, someone said blunt weapons were the best. So it might just be maces that we make. Let's have a good look at what we can actually make from silver. Maces, spears, short swords, war hammers, and battle axes, and bolts. Well then. Let's just have them make maces for now. One of the uh, crappier weapons, but it's a good weapon. You know what I mean? It's better than a piece of wood. It's a good solid metal weapon. A human caravan has arrived. Good, I hope you brought me some armor. Oh, there's miasma up there. How did that happen? That's outside. Unless... Ah, uh, there's enough of it. Let's see, designate channel. Right here. Where is it? Yeah, it's right up here, so we will... Uh, 
don't know, some kind of chimney or a vent or something for the miasma to get out of. Yeah, no ammunition for hunting for you. Now then, I know for a fact we have plenty of stuff to trade. So then let's uh, request the trader and move some goods. See now, where's my crafts? Wait, what? What happened to all my crafts? Okay, this is not good. I could have sworn I had crafts. Small cut gems, okay. Let's take them. A couple of gem bins. Hopefully we can trade for whatever armor they have with that. Now then, where the hell's my craft dwarf's workshop? Yeah, he's supposed to be making rock crafts. So why does it say we have none? That and I know we had plenty spare. Yeah, it says that's all we have for crafts. Well, I'm not. I'm not too sure what's going on there. Where is the trader anyway? He's asleep. Typical. Yeah, whatever, that's just a, a stray animal. Those guys should be uh, coming off duty soon. I've got them set up for a month on, month off training schedule. And there's still a miasma here. It is venting out, just not quickly enough. So maybe we, uh, we designate the channel out a bit more. I mean, we don't actually need anything over this area now, just enough to walk around. And uh, we went from a heat wave to a, a, a blizzard in one day, where I live. Shows you that uh, heat wave doesn't mean much around here. It just means that you're not going to freeze to death when you walk out the door about as much as you can expect from a heat wave where I live. Need silver bars, okay. Add uh, other objects. So, you know, where's lead? Lead. Let's make some lead crafts. Oh yeah. Because that's going to be useful. And I think what we'll do is build another uh, another smelter, just so we can get a uh, get a start on this stuff, get it built up as quickly as we can. And then hopefully the trader the broker. I can just go check his room. Actually, I know where he lives. Yep, he's up, so hopefully he's trading. Ooh, it's autumn. Nope, he's having his he's having his norms. I keep forgetting to check these new animals that the new people bring. It's not a big deal. I have the ones I want breeding. Damn, there's a lot of stuff up there. Where's that other craft dwarf's workshop? I know I've got two. At least I think I do. Masons, carpenters, craft dwarfs. Nope, apparently we only have one of those craft dwarfs workshops. So let's have him born, decorate. 
repeat. Seeing as there is a lot of uh, useful looking bones up there that haven't rotted away yet. And let's see, is this furnace here done as well? Yes, it is. Let's have this guy smelting the Galena ore as well. And while we're on the subject of that ore. Good, this vein's still going quite uh, healthy. I mean, honestly, I would have preferred copper, because you can make anything out of that. But obviously, I would have preferred iron or steel above that. And uh, I'm not even stupid enough to wish for adamantine at this level. I know you've got to be down on the magma for that, I think. Because that makes the, the wall between the magma and the uh, the rock, which stops the whole mountain just kind of melting into a big pool of magma. At least I think that's how it works in the Dwarf Fortress lore. I'm not 100% sure. I've never had mithril or adamantine or whatever it's called. Because I'm a real pro. this guy here yet? No. Now he's drinking. Now is not the time to be getting drunk, you douche. Which reminds me, we need more beer. Brew drink, repeat. Hopefully, by now, we have enough that he can brew drinks. Because I know we keep running out of barrels. Because we have too much food. So that guy's making his lead crafts. So I know for a fact we have crafts now. Look at all those bins full of crafts. Why aren't they registered? Maybe the humans don't want stone crafts? Because that would be a problem. Ah, now he's on his way up to trade good. Well, we don't need weapons off them anymore. But I'd be rather happy... See, that apparently gives us three grand to, pay, to play with here. So, yeah, what I'm looking for at the moment is armor. A bronze buckler will take it. Oh, looks like they've brought mostly large armor, which is no good to us. I mean, at the very least, we're walking out of this with some food. Oh well, yeah, it looks like uh, we're just getting a lot of food off these guys. And then we'll go. Yeah, whatever, douche. See you later. Okay, so that's that sorted. So we don't need a trader there anymore. You never have too much food on Dwarf Fortress. Especially with the rate we've been getting immigration waves lately. Or, oh, you know, since forever. I'm not sure if that's changed any in the new version. Like I said, I've been holding off playing it so I can uh, get it with the new Wasteland mod. Which is uh, made by Dion, in case anyone didn't know. Does a lot of mods and he's got a website. I'll probably uh, link his website in the first episode of the new Dwarf Fortress with the thing. With his mod on. I'll probably put a link in. Right then. I should have enough uh, silver built up by now to at least order a couple of weapons. Because the guy ran out of silver last time. So let's add new task, weapons and ammunition. Silver, mace. Hopefully I can get uh, ten maces. And that way anyone who doesn't have a weapon will get at least a mace. So they can club some things as face in. Although, to be fair, 
the last maceman that went into battle just punched a cougar in the face and killed it. Let's see. Yeah, the still's working. I know that that'll make the dwarves a lot happier having something to drink. And then I'm pretty sure I had a carpenter's workshop not doing anything, so no, not bin, uh, not bed. Sorry, bins. Repeat that. And nope. What's barrel again? N? No, that's bins. Okay, let's just look for it. V. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, I haven't played too much Dwarf Fortress lately. I've forgotten a few of the keys. Did I put that on repeat? Yes, okay. Uh, we should have uh, a few more beds to place down by now. Nope. Carpenters are too lazy for that. I wonder why the uh, the humans didn't want my stone goods though. Wait, was that a wood furnace not doing anything? Yes, a new task. Make charcoal. Repeat. I don't want to be running out of that. And the carpenter's workshop. There was something I was looking for. My gem workshop. Where's it gone? I know I've got one in here somewhere. There it is. go get the gems the gem cutter cutting those four gems that we've got I'm pretty sure I've seen a few of them being uh, hauled about now then doors that's how many have we got of these we have a lot of doors I can probably stop making doors now There we go. That'll give some dwarves something to do. They can carry a bunch of dwarves. Uh, a bunch of doors, sorry. I like to keep at least some menial tasks like this going. Plenty of stockpiles. And that way dwarves don't feel like they're useless to the fort because that can make them go on a little shame spiral and start killing people. You know, not that that ever happens to me. I'm, I'm far too pro for that. It looks like we have plenty of this silver at least. I wasn't sure if we'd found a, a big vein or not on this level, would have been another level below. But this is probably enough to last quite a while. I mean, once we're done making weapons out of it, silver's quite valuable, obviously. So we can make some trinkets and furniture, you know, fancy stuff. Maybe a statue garden. Up here somewhere, you know, silver statues, all nicey, nicey, pretty. Maybe up on the plateau. I haven't decided. Looks like that vent has stopped the miasma. Nope, not even a little bit. I'm not sure why that's forming when there's only a roof over a few parts. But as long as it's not inside the fortress, it should blow away after a while. Looks like all the bones have rotted, so there's no more decorating going on. Who was making doors? Cancel that. Now then, farmer's workshop. What can we do with this? Spin thread. Do it. What else can we do?
do it. I'm sure we can do something with red. All these busy little dwarves. Now then, carpenter, I need someone making beds, like, quicker. Nah, you, make beds. Do it now. Oh. Being possessed. Claim the mason's workshop, eh? Okay. Hopefully everything he needs is here. I mean, I have bought things specifically for when people need stuff. Okay, he's got a gem. I wonder what he's making. Okay, he's going up. What's he going up for? Wood, maybe? Maybe the cougar body? Oh no, some of the cloth from the caravan which we still haven't moved. So far he hasn't actually taken any stone. So what what could he want? Rough colour. Cloth thread. We're making thread. Stone rock. We have plenty of rock. And rough colour. What the hell does he... What the hell's rough colour mean? We come here in hopes of a better life. More migrants, eh? How many this time? 103. So we got another 8. But seriously, what the hell's rough colour? Like, dye maybe? Let's have the farmer's workshop see if we can make some dye. A task. I don't see anything for making dye in there. Maybe some kind of special workshop for that? Let's have a look, see if it is the case that we need a special workshop. Maybe the clothiers makes dye. No, oh, dye a shop. That would probably make dye. So we'll just build this dye shop. Needs an empty barrel. Well, screw it. We'll sort that out next time, because this is going to be the end of this episode. As always, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.